Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jealous 84 here, recruiting another Rising Star for you guys. Um, you guys remember the last time I recruited a Rising Star was Cordell Patterson and uh, Jadavian Clowney, and also Jason Morrow. Those are my current three Rising Stars. Well, recently they put out a new one, and his name is Derek Carr from the Oakland Raiders. And after I saw a few of his stats, I was like, you know, this guy looks similar as Ryan Tannehill, but also I saw that he was going to be added plus seven on his overall. So I was like, maybe he's better than Ryan Tannehill. So I ended up buying, you know, two of his cards, which is um, the ground and pound skill one, because in order for you to get double ground and pound, you got to buy two Derek cars that are the same scale. So that's exactly what I did. As you can see here, uh, Derek Carr is not that expensive compared to Jason Morrow, to David Clowney, and Carol Patterson, because those cards, you know, the original 80 overalls, they went like for around 20000 So I'm lucky Derek Carr is going like for around 4000 which is kind of weird because this guy looks like he has skills. So you should be able to see how they compare to each other, Ryan Tannehill and Derek Carr, because I believe Derek Carr can actually lead me to the Super Bowl. You know, Ryan Tannehill had his moment like season two uh, when he went 13 and 0, but I believe Derek Carr can have his moment also. You know, uh, I believe that this guy can actually roll out a lot better than Ryan Tannehill, maybe throw a lot more better passes. I don't know, but I am hoping, I'm putting my faith into Derek Carr, and hopefully he leads me into a Super Bowl. So, um, anyways, what am I doing here? <laughs> okay, let me go back into the auction house. I was looking for another uh, Derek Carr because uh, apparently there was no other that was cheap less four thousand. It was because all I saw was like five thousand. I was like, what the fuck? There's no other like four thousand coin Derek Carr. So I had to go back into the auctions and see if there was like another cheaper one. Uh, because the only way you can actually break down a, a player if it's too expensive is by going into their team looking for that single person and you should see a lot more offers into that person. So. That's my tip to you guys. If you guys want to see a more of a cheaper player, make sure you go into that team and look for that person because that's the only way you can see more cards about that one person. So here I am and looking for this Derek Carr and then all I see is the old, uh, the original Derek Carr which is 81 overall but then I saw this one and I was like, you know what, I guess I'm going to have to spend 5,000 coins for Derek Carr. I mean, I think it's worth it. I mean, 5,000 and 4,000 co coins just for this one Derek Carr. That I'm about to get, I mean, it does look kind of worth it. So, there it is the double ground and pound Derek Carr is about to be given to me 1000 coins, and there he is 87 overall Derek Carr with double ground and pound elite, by the way. So, do you think this is worth it? Do you think it was a good pickup? What do you guys think? Please tell me in the comment section right now if you guys think. This was a good pickup. Because at this point, I was like, I'm just staring at the car. I was like, God damn, I didn't know it was going to be 87 overall. I found out after the, a little bit, like a little uh, after the video, I actually went back and searched, like, why does this guy have 87 overall? It's because it said right there that it can be added plus 7 overall on the, on the current player. So, God damn it, you know, Derek Carr is going to lead us into the Super Bowl. I have a feeling he will. As you can see, he's a lot more better than Ryan Tannehill. More speed, more awareness, more throwing power, plus three on everything versus Ryan Tannehill. As you can see, the only thing Ryan Tannehill can actually beat Derek Carr on is on the play action, and that's it. And maybe one point in the elusiveness, but the rest of the stats, as you can see, is plus three on everything. Throwing power, 96 compared to 93. Throwing accuracy, maybe a little bit of throwing the deep, on speed, on awareness. As you can see, here's more of a broken down stats right here. You can see how um, Derek Carr can actually make more of an impact than Ryan Tannehill. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys th think this is worth it or not? Because I think it is. I think a little slight of improvement to my quarterback position can actually, you know, work better with my with my team because. The faster the ball travels, the faster that pass is going to be completed into a player and the less percentage it has to be intercepted. So, I don't know. I'm just leaving it up to you guys. Do you guys think this was a good idea? And especially like for 9,000 coins. 
Because Jason Morrow, Jadavion Clowney, and Cordell Patterson, all of them would equal like around 20000 each. Because every single card, if you guys want, want to buy the original cards for the Rising Stars, those cost like around 20000 each or 10000 each. And I was spending that much coins on that on those guys. But over here with Derek Carr, I only spent like around 9000 coins in order for me to, to get the Rising Star Derek Carr. Which is kind of weird. So, yeah, I don't know why they're sending this guy for that cheap. So that's it. He's my starter. And hopefully you guys enjoy the second half of the season.